Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, today is March 3rd, 2013. But I was just thinking to myself, because I'm excited about this prophecy that's it's coming to an end right now. The prophecy is going to be totally fulfilled about, uh, what's his name? St. Malachi's prophecy. He was on his way to Rome. This was in 1130 something, 1130 something, and God showed he said God showed him. I'm going to get into this in a minute. He said God showed him that there would only be 112 from that time on. I think it was 1130 something. So, all the 111 that he said that would come in, he described the, the coat of arms, the names. This far he's been dead on. And I believe the 112 one, he's also going to hammer it on the head. He's going to nail it on the head. It's going to be Peter the Roman. But I was thinking to myself, because I was just in the bathroom, because I'm about to leave, I'm, I'm just excited about this. I just can't wait for the announcement to see what the next Pope's name is going to be. But I believe it's going to be Peter. It will be Petrus Romanus, which means Peter the Roman. So I was thinking to myself, because for those of us that know about the Catholic Church, like th there's so much room, there's so much stuff. Like, uh, What's it called? Because I was listening to something. Because there's lots of people. After Pope Jean Paul... Was it the first that passed away? Yeah, Pope Jean Paul the first passed away. They went into the underground, wherever the Vatican, and they said there was, there was a giant present. Okay? And I think they were doing a, a live sacrifice. These people are sick. They do live sacrifices. But Hugo Chavez was present, and when Hugo Chavez saw this, he took off. He ran out. So that's good. He left. But this is what I wanted to say. These people do not stand for God. They do not stand for the Bible. They are Satanists. They are demonic. Know their history, and you'll see. Like my friend, man, it was crazy. He sent me uh, a picture. These people actually have dead popes. That are, they have them in bonds. And they actually have them in their coffin still. A glass coffin, they go there, they kneel before it, and they pray. And they showed skeletons of dead popes and everything. This, this is demonic. The Bible says do not pray to dead people. And yet these people are stupid. They're all demonic. That's all it is. They're demonic. But I want to say this. I was thinking logically. Okay? In my mind, I was just in the bathroom, I was just thinking, wait a minute. He said, St. Malachi, because he got... Um, What's that thing called? They did something to him to make him become a saint. That's a, that's a bunch of bull. You can't make anybody a saint. The only way you can be a saint is if you repent of your sin and place your faith and trust in Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Far from that, you're not a saint. Far from that, you're not a saint. Come on, you're telling me a saint and yet you're molesting uh, children. It's all about the money. It's always been about the money. It always will be about the money for these guys. Anyways. This is what I wanted to say. So this guy, St. Malachi, saying that God revealed this vision to him. Now, I was thinking when I was in the bathroom before, wait a minute. Who is their God? Who is this person that is saying that God revealed it to him? Is it possible that Satan appeared to him? Uh, this is something to think about, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> I believe it. This was Satan. Okay? Because it's, it's been accurate all along. The reason why God's allowing it to happen is because this is the time. And God's word says that these things will happen. So God revealed to the Vatican, to, to these people, and they're trying to say, oh, it's not true. It's a conspiracy. This is not true. This 900-year-old prophecy. Okay, explain to me. If it's not true, then why in the world are they, are they uh, protecting that document? Why in the world are they protecting that... Um, Certificate of all the prophecies that have been listed. Why won't they release it? Why are they protecting it? Because they know, okay? They have somebody elected, okay? The guy's name is going to be Peter the Roman. So this is what I was thinking. It's going to be uh, the per... Okay, St. Malachi that said that this is going to be... Um, what's it called? What's it called? Yeah, he said God, that God showed him this vision. Now, who's that God that he's talking about? Because they don't worship the true God. They worship Satan, okay? This was Satan.
So it was Satan that came and said that he was God. So it was Satan that showed him this vision. And this far, all 111 has been dead on. And I believe this guy's just going to hit the hammer over the head with the next one coming in. It's going to be Peter the Roman. So this is the time, ladies and gentlemen. Because God, he allows things, okay? He's allowing this to happen. He allows, because this is all they want, power. Like I said, absolute power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. So this is what's going to happen. This is going to be the false prophet. The fighting, okay? This, the fighting over power. It's just incredible. It's incredible, man. It's literally incredible because I was um, just listening to it. Like, come on, man. Listening to it. The prophecy said that Pope 111 will only reign for a short time. Like, come on. Who's going to know that? And who was that? Pope Benedict the Sixteen. He just retired. That never happened. I right? thought so, oh, this is the first time within six hundred years that a pope steps down, and it happened exactly as, as the prophecy said, <clears throat> and so many other things. So I literally believe that this is the this is the false prophet, because you know, ladies and gentlemen, before I used to be spectacle against this. I never believed it, because my cousin gave me a video by uh, Jack Benimpi called "The Revelation of Pope John Paul the Second. He explains all the details. And this far, every single thing has been fulfilled. Right to the coat of arms, the names, the descriptions, everything. Everything, man. And yet the Vatican's calling them on control over... Come on, the, the Vatican wants control over uh, Jerusalem, the Mount of Zion. Like, there's so many things happening right now. There's so many things happening right now. So, that's what I believe. Because I was just thinking logically. The person that said that they were God... Is Satan, okay? Satan revealed to them, because right, right in the the document, in the vision, it says Peter the Roman will rule over the Catholic Church, the persecution of the Roman Catholic Church, and he will feed his sheep through many tribulations. And it says Rome, the destruction of Rome will happen on his watch, under his watch, the destruction of Rome will happen. When Peter the Roman sits in the holy place, which is the one that's coming in now, Peter the Roman. So time will time will show. Time will show, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you guys want to go see my other video, I explain it. My other video is called uh, "The Final Pope Is Here." Just go click on my videos, and, and you'll find it there. I explain everything, and uh, there's so many other things you guys want to watch. It's all prophecy because God has called me to be a watchman. And these are the things that are happening. It just breaks my heart because uh, so many people are they're not aware of where we are right now in this prophetic time time in this prophetic timeline. Okay, everything is about to come to an end, and people are sleeping. People are living like the world. I'm talking about the Christians. Many of these people are going to find themselves left behind because they're not studying prophecy and they're they're not living the life. Okay, but this is what's happening right now. This is the final pope coming. I'm telling you, okay? I am telling you this is the final pope because it is. This is the final generation. This generation, like no other generation, has seen so many prophecies fulfilled when no other generation has seen within the last 1900 years. Like Israel became a nation May 14, 1948, capturing Jerusalem 1967 during the Sixth Day of War, June 5th through 10th. And now we see the rise and the formation of the rise of the one world government. Now you have the United Nations and the Council of Churches talking about we need to bring a one world religion in. A one world religion. That's what this false prophet's going to do. He's going to bring in a one world religion, a one world government, you name it. <clears throat> this is the last generation, my friends. So wherever you are, be ready to meet the Lord, brothers and sisters in Christ. Be ready to meet the Lord because I'm telling you, because I'm putting my neck out there saying that this guy's going to be Peter. And if, his guy, if the guy's not, not Peter, but it is. It is. Put it that way. His name's going to be Peter. The guy's been dead on so far with a stunning accuracy. The guy has been dead on this far. It has happened, okay? 111. Boom, 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 boom. And it's happened. And I was just talking to uh, one of my friends. They said they're putting, uh, what's it called? Posters, posters up in Italy saying that the next pope is going to be black. 
The next pope is going to be black and he, and he goes for a same-sex marriage. What does that tell you? Because the Bible says that he had two horns of a lamb, which is the false prophet, which means that he defected from the faith. Of course, that's what he's going to do. Because I read the documents. Okay, I have the federal documents. Uh, the New World Order's plans exposed 1969. They're going to support homosexuality. It'll be a form of world government. And it goes on. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. So you make sure you're, that you're ready to meet the Lord. Because I'm telling you, there's only minutes remaining. We're down to minutes. Okay? Jesus is coming in our lifetime. Everything is signaling it. This is the false prophet coming in. Rather you believe it or not, this is reality. Time will show that his name will be Peter the Roman. Okay? His name will be Peter the Roman. Okay? So this, this is what's coming right now. Jesus is coming. That's what's happening. Jesus is coming. The alien simple question. People are so ignorant. People are so ignorant, ladies and gentlemen. I have people writing me messages that they're blinded, okay? They're blinded. Because I, like the video that I made, the UFO agenda, okay? There's coming UFOs. And so I'm going to read it to you what the person just wrote me, okay? I'm just going to read it to you. And I'm going to explain. Okay, right here. So, where in the Bible does it say about the aliens? Simple question. You have to understand. There's no such thing as aliens. They are fallen angels. They are fallen angels. Okay? Even many people that are not even believers have done a research on it. That they're not, they're not uh, creatures. They are not creatures. Okay? They are fallen angels. Even people that used to be in the Air Force said that they saw a flying object. They tried to go near it. And by the time they got near it, it, went, it just vanished. It disappeared or it took off at lightning speed. And then they thought that guy was crazy. So they, they told him to leave the Air Force. But this, this is the reality. We're going to be hearing more about extraterrestrial in the upcoming months because this is part of the Vatican's agenda, the New World Order's agenda, and plus the, Uni uh, the United States. They've been, they've been, they have been keeping technology from thousands of people for years. So who knows what they're at right now in their technology. Because they have, they have flying saucers, they have spaceships. They've been working on. There's many whistleblowers out there, okay? People that are coming out that are saying this, and other people, and that even the police, are, even the police are in this. So why can't they say anything? Why? This is why, because you said there's some police officers that are in the, that are satanic. So you have too much information. You know too much, and so on. So this, this is what's coming. You're going to be hearing about it, like I saw on the, the thing on YouTube describing. Oh, the History Channel is going to be showing a show on aliens. Isn't that funny? Like yesterday, I just finished making my video on UFOs are not real. And yet, boom, right after I see that. This is why, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, this, 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 has, been happen this, this, has, been, this has been part of their plan since day one. You're going to be hearing about UFOs. You may, not, you may even see it on the TV. They're going to make it look like nothing but real. They have a special machine. It's called the Blue Bean holograms that they can make a spaceship appear in the atmosphere. It's going to look so real to terrorize, terrorize the people, to make it look like we're being invaded. And they're trying to say that people are going to look to aliens as their savior. That's why this, this is all demonic, okay? There's demons coming on this earth like giants, okay? It, demons can take forms, okay? This is, why, this is what's happening right now. So my job is not to make anybody believe. Put it that way. My job is not to make anybody believe. My job is just to preach the truth as it is. And nobody needs to defend the truth. The truth will defend itself. Just like nobody needs to defend a lion, a lion will defend itself. All that you have to do is open the cage and the lion will defend itself. The truth will prove itself. You're going to see all the stuff that I said happen. It's part of their plan. The Vatican's working on it. The Vatican has a special device called the Lucifer device, the Lucifer instrument. It's one of the most powerful telescopes in the world. And I can go on and on and on and on and on. Just do your research, okay? Whoever you are, do your research if you want to know this. Don't take my word for it. Do your own research and you'll see that they've been at this since day one, since the very beginning. And this is why when it comes, people are going to believe it. That's why they're coming out with new movies about aliens, you name it. So this is all i got to say to you all. And uh, God bless.